Hey, I'm Bennett. I'm one of the videographers on the Micro World series, and I'm here to answer a couple of your questions. So the first question is, what are the recommended settings for capturing fast moving insects? I think the number one thing that I can recommend is shooting in slow motion. We shot in 120 frames a second, which allowed us to slow down the footage by five times. And this really allowed us to show these tiny little movements that end quick movements that insects make. And had we not done that, we would have seen a lot of blips across the screen. Uh, the second question is, do you capture your footage by chasing down insects or is it more of a right place at the right time sort of situation? I think with insects, a lot of it is getting pretty lucky. Um, they're so small and hard to track down. Other than maybe some butterflies or moths, most of the time it's choose a habitat that you might find this insect, flip over logs, uh, search the sands, and hopefully you come across the insect that you're looking for. Thanks for watching Microworlds. I'll send over the next questions to Christina. Hands down, my favorite subject to film season two, Micro Worlds Bugs, was the pollinators. And there's a few reasons for that. The first reason is, um, you know, less crawling on the ground with the pollinators. They were usually a little bit higher up in a bush, some kind of flowering plant that didn't require too much crouching. The other thing that I love about the pollinators was pollinators love sun. And you know who else loves sun? Me. So that was definitely a plus. Anytime you're going to film pollinators, you gotta go out on a sunny day and then you're just out there in a beautiful field of flowers filming bugs. So that was perfect. Hands down, favorite thing to film this season was the pollinators. Hi, my name is Josh Silberg. I was a producer and writer on Microworlds. Uh, and I'm here to answer a question we had about marine insects. So there's only one kind of insect that we know of that spends its entire life on the ocean. And it's a sea skater or a water strider called Halibates. So its whole life cycle is on top of the ocean. But there are other insects we still consider to be marine insects like the barnacle flies that we covered in that episode. Uh, you know, they spend a key part of their life when they're a larva, after uh, the egg hatches, they go inside a barnacle. And then some of the time when the tide's in, they live in that under the ocean. As adults, the flies are still above water, but because they spend such a key portion of their life in the ocean, they're considered marine insects. And that's just like sea lions or seals or other things that we still consider marine mammals, even though they haul out on land some of the time. Thanks, hope you enjoyed the episodes.